This is Cheyenne. She fell in love with Donye. <laughs> Not long after they started dating, they realized Cheyenne was pregnant. I was 16 years old and I saw the positive pregnancy test. I was more scared than anything. I was 15 and I was like, this is crazy. But in addition to the complexities of facing teen parenthood, the couple's decision to keep the baby was frowned upon by family and friends. When my mom found out I was pregnant, she was very angry. She wanted me to get an abortion and then she kicked me out. I've had to cut off many friends. They wanted to party and drink and do all this stuff and like, I couldn't go do that. The friends coming over today, I haven't seen them since I had Aviel. I'm pretty nervous to see them again. I think they're friends are you. I'm Shane Pedrotti, I'm 18. I'm Danya, I'm 17. We met through mutual friends, mainly on Snapchat. We just randomly like added each other. I was like, dude, she's hot. So I was like, <laughs> I try to touch her all the time. Donye and Cheyenne first met over social media a little under two years ago. And it didn't take long for romance to blossom in real life. I remember that night you had kissed me for a TikTok. Oh yeah, I kissed him first um, film while filming a TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> We started hanging out alone, like, every day, and then he would spend the night a lot, and it just kind of went from there. But after only a few months of dating, Cheyenne found out she was pregnant. I was 16 years old, and I saw the positive pregnancy test. There was a million thoughts going through my head. I was like, okay, what do I do? How do I go about this? How am I gonna tell my mom? Like, how is this gonna work? Am I gonna be able to keep the baby? I like the blue dress. I was just overall like confused. I got the text and it was like a picture of the pregnancy test. I was more scared than anything. Cause like I was 15 and I was like, this is crazy. It's okay. <laughs> Why are you so cranky? <laughs> like we already knew. Basically the condom broke and we knew that. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't really do anything about that because we knew there was like a chance, but then we also thought like, we're fine. You know, I'm not gonna get pregnant. And then I ended up actually getting pregnant. Yeah. Why are you eating that? Obviously in school and everything, they tell you like safe sex, birth control, condoms. We thought we were being safe and all of it. And I was like, teen pregnancy, that's just something you see like on TV or in the movies. It's not gonna happen to me. You want something? It's gonna be okay, look. You don't think about it that way until it actually happens to you. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Don't I cry. was terrified to tell my mom that I was pregnant. She was asleep. Yeah, she passed out. So when my mom found out I was pregnant, she was very angry, um, which I didn't understand at the time. She wanted me to get an abortion and then she kicked me out, so I had to go stay with my grandma. I go get her. I go get her. Mm -hmm. It's okay. My grandparents are like 100% of supportive. They're like more supportive than like my actual like own <laughs> family. Obsessed. Yeah, they're obsessed. They always ask to like watch her and be around her all the time. After my mom kicked me out, I did feel like eventually she was gonna come around. It just take some time. Once I moved back in, she supported me and helped me during labor. She was the one person with me. Looking back at it, I do understand where my mom was coming from. In the moment, it felt like the end of the world, like it was not okay. But now I understand like she was just looking out for me. I've had to cut off many friends. Some of them still were supportive, but they wanted to party and drink and do all this stuff and like, I couldn't go do that. I think some people didn't understand that and didn't understand like the responsibility I took on to be a mom. The friends coming over today, I haven't seen them since I had Aviel. I stopped talking to them mid-pregnancy. They kind of just wanted to do normal teenage things, which I get. I'm pretty nervous to see them again. A part of me is nervous they're not even gonna show up. I don't know exactly how they feel about me being a teen mom. They were some of my closest friends and them not checking on me, it really like, is kind of upsetting. 
when I found out Shane was pregnant, I was actually really shocked, honestly, because like she was our best friend and we like I just didn't expect it at all from Shane. Yeah. Honestly. I was at work and she texted me and I didn't believe her. And I was like, oh, that's funny. And then I was like, oh, like she's having a baby. I think her friends are you. Hi. 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 Oh, it's so cute in here. <laughs> oh, stop. She has big eyes. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. Hi, honey. Stop, this is so cute. Is she gonna start crying? Uh, yep. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. How has your friendship changed over the past year, you know, since, since everything? She's definitely been way more busy, like, yeah, you know, like, hanging out busy. as much. But I feel like the friendship has not changed at all. We just obviously don't hang out as much because she has a baby, which is understandable. Literally. Hey, do you think the dynamic has changed with your friends? I don't know. I think it's a complicated like situation. It's hard to see the other person's perspective. I feel like most teenagers, like our age, they want to just go out and party and drink and all of that. And nobody really wants to hang out with a baby instead when they could be doing that on their Friday night. All right, well, she's gonna go down for a nap soon or else she's gonna be all cranky later. Okay, well, I wanna come start seeing her, so just text me. We wanna come okay. see her again. Yeah, Cheyenne, okay. text me. Answer your phone. I will. Okay. I always Okay, do. say bye. See you later. Bye, Leo. Even though I've lost some friends and family along the way, like, I still have Donye and I still have Aviel, and like, you literally cannot be upset or mad around a baby. Like, look at her. I think our relationship works because at the end of the day, we both know that we have stuff to get done. We're in no way promoting like teen pregnancies or anything, but if it does happen, then I don't think it matters what age you are. I think it's the capability. It's really nobody else's like business how you live your life. It's you and your family, your child. It's up to you. And honestly, I just find it rewarding to like prove people wrong.